Booze didn't seem to bother Julian. He kind of kind of liked it. There's the tail of the tape. Well, the the, uh, the snake team with Julian's from in uh, in France is a pretty big submission grappling team. Um, really strong team. Good fighters like Anthony Road, etc. Who come out of there from Paris. It's not that much between them and the tail of the tape. Round number one underway. McLean in the red trunks. Denis in the black. Oof. Oh. Ali Insane McLean starting off as we expected him to. He is going hyper. Ooh, Look at wow. that face. Look at his eyes. So excited. And he floors Julian Denis very early in the fight. This is the opening 30 seconds. A serious flurry of action on Julian Denis hoping to get his breath back on the ground. Ali McLean getting those elbows free. Welcome and to Belfast, Monsieur <laughs> Denis. Yeah. Denis desperately trying to prevent McLean from posturing up. Yeah, breaking his posture, controlling him, controlling his head really well in the guard. You know, slipping the arm pass, holding it really nice and tight. You know, Ali McLean coming at as an insane pace. We always see that, dude. The fights that we've we've commented on before that he's been on the Cage Wars bills, he always comes out at 100 mile an hour. Probably, you know, this this might be. Um, the opponent to kind of slow him down just a bit. Oh, oh, good ground and pound. Really nice ground and pound. But he's got his head caught in the guillotine. Opened up his arms too much. And because oh, this is getting Julie... tighter, it's getting tighter, it's getting tighter. And he's got the full closed guard oh, now. Oh, it's popped straight out. And because it's Julien Denis. I'll call it the guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone knows how to put on a guillotine, it's a Frenchman. <laughs> invented <Yeah>. it. <laughs> this one's scheduled for oh. three five-minute rounds. Frenetic pace set here by McLean. His fights don't normally go with the full distance. He's always in danger of running out of gas oh. the way he starts the fights. Always in danger, big danger, especially if he comes up against a smart opponent. But he's an exciting fighter, you know, a real exciting fighter. Good ground and pound. Oh, he's just pounding away. Julian just can't keep up to the pace. He needs to wrestle him. He needs to turn it around. You know, he needs to put Ali on his back. He's rolling to his knees. We're in Julian's corner at the moment, and he has the advantage, obviously, that his corner advising him in French, which I assume will be beyond Ali McLean's understanding, so whatever advice he's getting will be for him and him only. Ali McLean's going for the Bravo choke, or for the American audience, the DAS. <laughs> <laughs> Working really hard, Ali McLean. Look at that face. Look at his face. Whoa, yeah, he's oh, got, he's got it. Julien taps out at 2 minutes and 45 seconds of round number one. <laughs> <laughs> Insane McLean. As a special maneuver for post fight celebration. Snake Hips McLean, we're going to call him from now on. I'll tell you what, he worked hard for that. It only took him two and a half minutes, but he really worked hard for that final hold. If it hadn't come off, I'm not sure he would have gone any further than the first round, Ali McLean, because he put everything into that first round and he's left the cage. Goodbye, Ali. A little walk around. This is why the crowd love him. He's really entertaining, Jay. He'd go down well in the States. He would do very, very well in the States. This is the kind of fighter that the American uh, public really enjoys watching. Actually, he kind of has a little bit of a Tito Ortiz uh, vibe to him with the hair dyed and with the, the confidence and the bravado. Um, and, you know, Tito Ortiz makes a lot of money every time he fights. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is one of Ali McLean's ambitions, just to turn pro, make one out of the sport he loves. He wants to go all the way, he wants to be world champ. And so after two minutes and 44 seconds, the winner with a tap out due to a Dars joke, Ali the Black Man, aka Insane McLean. Good sportsmanship there being exhibited by McLean. The crowd receptive for Julian Denis. He'll wish he had stayed in his hotel room after missing the bus. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to import him. I hope you don't mind if we borrow him for a couple well, of fights. You, as long as you're loaning him back out again, we'd <laughs> have to see him here in Belfast as well. <laughs>